This video will show you how to enter in the analog output measurements and process input parameters into the INT30A transmitter or converter. The steps in this video are for the INT30A transmitter alone. Four push buttons will be used to configure the device. They are from left to right, right arrow, and to key, down arrow, up arrow. I will first enter in three parameters for the analog output measurements. Measure selection, unit of measurement, and the range setting for the current output. For this video, I will be selecting volume flow for measurement, gallons per minute for units of measure, in a range setting of 0 to 30 gallons per minute. To select volume flow for the measurement parameter, press and hold the right arrow for 3 seconds, then let go. Press the up or down arrow until setup appears. Then press the right arrow. Press the right arrow to go into process inputs. Press the right arrow to go into calibration. Go up or down to you see measurement. Press the right arrow. Press the up or down arrow until volume flow appears. Press the enter key. Continue to press the Enter key until you see Save Configuration. If you want to cancel out, you'll select No. If you want to save your selection, select Yes, press the Enter key. This brings you back to the display measurement screen. To select gallons per minute as your unit of measure, Press and hold the right arrow for three seconds. Then let go. Press the down arrow to you see setup. Press the right arrow. Press up or down to you see device. Press the right arrow. Press up or down until you see units. Press the right arrow. Press the right arrow to go into volume flow. And go up or down to you see gallons per minute. Press the enter key. Continue to press the enter key. Do you see save configuration? With yes highlighted, press the enter key to save your selection. To use 0 to 30 gallons per minute as your range setting, press and hold the right arrow for 3 seconds, then let go. Press the right arrow to go into quick setup. Use the up or down arrow until you see analog output. Press the right arrow. Press the right arrow to go into range. Use the right arrow. Scroll to the number you want to change or symbol. In this case, you go to the 2, change that to a 3. Go to the next number, change that to a 0. Keep doing this for all the numbers until you get 0 to 30 gallons per minute shown. If you need to change the decimal point, highlight the decimal point, use the up or down arrows to move to the desired location. Once you get 0 to 30 gallons per minute shown on the display, press the Enter key until you see Save Configuration. With Yes highlighted, press Enter to save. Next, I will show you 
how the process input data is entered into the INT30A transmitter. This is a data plate from a 9600A flow tube or sensor. A 9500A will have the same info. The three key parameters that need to be entered into the transmitter are GKL number, tube size, and field frequency. When a tube is ordered with the transmitter, all the process input data from the flow tube will be stored into the transmitter. If a transmitter is ordered as a spare or to be used with a different flow tube in the field, the process data will need to be entered into the transmitter. For tube size, we will be entering in 15 millimeters, one half inch. For GKL value, we will enter in 4.0128. And for the field frequency, we will enter in 1.6 line frequency. To enter in these three values, press the right arrow for three seconds, then let go. Press the right arrow to go into quick setup. Press the up or down arrow to use C process inputs. Press the right arrow. Press the down arrow to see size. Press the right arrow. Go up or down with the arrows to you see 15 millimeters and half inch. Hit enter. Use the down arrow to go to GKL. Hit the right arrow. Use the right arrow to go to the number you need to change. In this case, go to the 3. Change this to 4. And continue until you have 4.01 2 8. Hit enter. Use the down arrow to go to field frequency. Hit the right arrow. Go up or down to you see 1 6 line frequency. Hit the enter key. Continue to hit the enter key until you see save configuration. With yes highlighted, hit enter to save your data. You have now finished entering in the analog output measurement and process input data into an IMT30A transmitter.